Hey guys, welcome back. And today we are going to talk about buffer operations. What are the different operations which are available uh, in the T-Box automation module and how you can use them uh, in your test cases. Now this will be a continuation uh, from our previous session when we talked about different sting operations and then uh, we used it to actually resolve one of uh, automation challenge, right? So we used it to basically extract this particular order number from this text, okay? And we use different string operations. We also used the T box buffer, right? Set buffer. And we also used the action mode buffer, right? So we have seen some of the operations which we are already using, but I'm going to talk explicitly about all of these operations, okay? So we have already seen how you can resolve this problem of getting the order number using this complex um, expression which involves a lot of different string operations right so we used the trim operation we used the string replace to replace uh, that particular text with some um, space or white space and then we also used the ignore case inside that in order to get that particular order number so that works perfectly fine it's um, it's a valid way of getting this order number but there is also another way to do this okay and i'm going to show you exactly uh, that so um, i have created a test case folder and i'm going to reuse this test case so i'm going to copy and paste it here okay and inside this i'm going to now uh, delete this particular uh, test step because i don't want to use this string operations okay I may use some of them, but not all of them. I want to show you another way of doing that. Okay. So this particular step where we are getting the inner text and we are buffering that into this particular value, B underscore order. So that will still remain the same. Okay. We want to get the text uh, which is present in this particular page and we want to buffer it using the action mode. So that that's fine. Now um, I'm going to show you all the different buffer operations which are available in Tosca. Okay. So when you go into uh, this add test step and you type T box and buffer. So these are all the four different operations which you can perform. Okay, so we have already seen T box set buffer. It basically uh, sets a buffer value, right? And then um, there's also name to buffer. We'll see this. Uh, there is delete buffer, which will basically delete the buffer. Okay and then there is tbox partial buffer okay so if you want to basically extract a part of the value and buffer it then you can use the partial buffer okay so this name to buffer this will basically what it will do is um, it will allow you to buffer the name of the test case okay that uses that particular module okay so it's not a, a very kind of common scenario you will do always but um, it could be useful in in some steps okay so we will see this how how to use this but do keep in mind that this name to buffer can will only work when you run it from execution list it will not work when you run it from scratch book as it doesn't support this particular functionality okay so let's go ahead and use all of these modules now okay so i'm going to start with the box set buffer Okay, so once we get this inner text um, inside this buffer, uh, what we want to do, we want to extract the order number. Okay, so let's see how we can do this. Um, I'm going to call it order num, and here um, actually I could get the order number, but what we need to do is we need to first trim the white spaces. Okay. There is no other way of doing this we have to trim the white spaces okay because otherwise uh, you will always get the white space even if i try to extract the partial uh, buffer value okay so first we need to do this uh, and for this again we'll be using the trim function like we have done before okay inside this i'm going to pass the buffer uh, value which is b underscore order okay and this will basically trim all the white spaces inside this text which we are getting okay so this uh, will set the buffer okay so this particular uh, buffer operation is used to set the buffer so it will create a buffer with a particular value the value is this 
what we are trimming okay and then um, it will um, set it into a buffer name which is order num okay so this is what the set buffer does already we have used this many times but i'm just explaining you again okay it can also verify the value okay if i change the action mode to verify then it is going to verify the value for this particular buffer so this tbox set buffer can be used for both it can be used for uh, creating a buffer with a particular value it can also be used for verifying the value of an existing buffer okay okay um, now what we are going to do is we are going to now use another module called tbox uh, partial buffer okay so this is where we are going to extract a part of the value okay so part of the text and store it into a buffer right so here uh, we need to pass couple of values okay so we need to pass uh, what would be the buffer new buffer name okay where you want to store this so say i'm going to store it in order number and then in the value you need to pass the actual buffer okay so from where you want to extract this partial text and that is uh, order number right so we'll use buffer here and we will use order num okay and then uh, we what we need to give here is either we can give it a start okay a start value this is basically the index from which you want the system to start buffering or verifying the value okay and then you can also put a end value okay so uh, see for example here uh, we want to extract this particular text okay so either you give it a start value okay so it could be after all of these characters right so you need to count all of this and then uh, it could be 20 30 uh, so whatever is the start value and then the end value okay but this is not the ideal scenario for this purpose okay uh, start and end could be useful when you are starting right in the beginning right so if i want to extract this order text i can give it um, a start value like one here okay and then um, i can give it uh one two three four five right so i can give it a end value five so it will basically extract the first five characters right starting from one till five whatever characters it will get it will extract that and it will store it in this particular order num right but that is not what i want to do i want to extract the order number and the best way to do is is to use um, this particular parameter which is last okay so this will basically uh, you have to give the number of characters you want to buffer or verify starting from the last character okay so you need to decide which uh, parameters you want to use in this partial buffer which suits your particular use case okay so for my use case uh, it this last uh, parameter suits better okay so if i count from the last one two three four five six seven right so seven characters i want to extract okay so you cannot do a combination of both okay because it will uh, contradict each other right so better i will just delete this and then here i will give last seven okay so it will buffer the last seven characters from this particular text okay and into this buffer value right i can also use the same uh, tbox partial buffer to verify okay same for tbox set buffer you can do that but let's use the partial buffer here again and here i need to pass the same buffer uh, value which is order number and then in the value i need to pass this particular order number obviously this is not an ideal uh, case for this but i just want to verify it ideally i would not know this order number because it's dynamically generated but in any other use case where you already know the value it is coming from the requirements you can use the partial buffer to even verify this okay so you just need to change the action mode to verify right and now 
uh, we'll be using another uh, T box module, okay, which is T box set um, or let's type buffer here and name to buffer, okay. So here uh, we have to give basically a name, okay, a value where this particular name will be stored. It will store the test case name, okay. So we'll say test case underscore name here. And this will basically um, allow you to buffer the name of the test case, okay, which uses this particular module, right? And it will only work with execution list. It will not work with when you run it from scratch book, right? And the last uh, tbox uh, buffer operation, which I want to show you is delete buffer. This could be useful if you want to clean up whatever buffer names you have used, okay? Uh, it's not necessary because whenever you run, it will always override the values. But still, if you want to do a cleanup, you can always do that, right? So let's see what buffer names we have already used. I can delete all of them at a time, okay? So I have used order num somewhere right here. And then I have also used order number. And then I have also used TC underscore name. Okay, so these are the three buffers which I have used. You can see here. Okay. And at the last step, I am basically deleting all these three buffers, right? So you can see here, I have used all the different buffer operations. Okay, for this particular scenario. Um, we are using the set buffer, we are using partial buffer to basically store the partial buffer paths, okay, and also verify it using the same method, okay, and then name to buffer, we'll see what it gives, and also delete buffer to delete all the buffer names, right. So let's go ahead and uh, run this particular test case now, and let me show you the result. Okay, uh, as I said, it's better to run it from execution list if you want to see the result for name to buffer. So let me create execution list. I already have a folder here. Okay, and I am going to drag this particular test case here. Okay, and I'm going to say um, order number. find order number okay and then this will contain uh, my test case so let's go ahead and execute it right from here okay so the execution has passed and let's look at the results now okay so here if I come here you will see here um, in the log info we can see P underscore order has been set to the value this right it has got some white space characters and then uh, we come here and here we are trimming the value or white spaces from the text right so there are no white spaces in this now we want to extract the order number right so here now I'm buffering that uh, particular part of the text right so the last part so it counts from the last till uh, the character or what the value I provided, I provided seven, so it counted and it grabbed this particular text, which is actually the order number. So I have set it to this particular buffer, right? And again, here I'm verifying, okay, uh, whether these two are equal. So these two are actually the same, so it has passed. And then we are using tbox name to buffer. Here we are storing the test case name. So you can see this is the test case name find order number. It has been stored in this particular buffer name, which is TC underscore name. Okay. And then uh, T box delete buffer. So here you will see buffer order number was successfully deleted. So it deleted all the three buffers which we had created earlier. So performed a cleanup. Okay. So these are all the different operations which you can uh, perform using the tbox automation modules for buffers right um, it could be useful in different scenarios so you have to look at your use case 
and then use any of this uh, buffer operations inside your test case. So that's all for this particular video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you learned something new today. Uh, we'll continue to bring more interesting videos on Tosca, on different features of Tosca and how you can use it in your day-to-day uh, -day automation scenarios. So keep watching and until the next video, keep learning Tosca and keep watching our channel for more upcoming videos.